Alright guys, it is me here, Mac, once again with another Destiny video and today we are hopping back into the Festival of the Lost and we are going to show you guys a nice little easter egg to get the fabled Super Black Shader. Now the Super Black Shader was originally supposed to be a shader released with Dead Orbit in the very beginning of the very first game of Destiny back in 2014. It was rumoured that you got it from like rank 10 Dead Orbit, rank 20 rank Dead Orbit, 25, 50 and 100 etc but obviously no one ever got it because it really wasn't available until then but now it is here in Taken King. Sorry, did I just, what? Taken King? No, Rise of Iron, Festival of the Lost, guys. But anyway, how you get it is either you have a box of raisins that has turned into Ascendant Raisins from last year's Festival of the Lost, or you go to Eris Morn this year and you get a box of raisins in the very first, like, thing where you're getting the sack of jellies and shit for everyone else. And basically, guys, first step you have to do is take that box of raisins to the speaker. Uh, he will combine that with like 25 modes of light to make a Senate Raisins. Um, and yeah, like I said, that's, that's this step can be skipped from last year if you already got it. But anyway, next you take those raisins to Savala and she will give you salted sweets. You then take those salted sweets and give them to Master Rahul, the Cryptarch guy, and he'll give you winged chews. They sound really nasty. Uh, you take the winged chews to Amanda Holiday. Uh, she's a fucking ship lady down in the uh, place down below. What's I don't I can't remember what's called the hangar. Then you take the things that she gives you, she gives you splice drops, and you take those splice drops up to Cade, and he will give you unchocolate, it's like a chocolate bar or whatever. And then, finally, you take that unchocolate to Eris Morn, and she will give you a bag of treats. Now, the bag of treats will be in your consumables thing, you then open the bag of treats, and boom, it will give you super black shader and a piece of celery. As of now, we have no idea what the celery does, or even if it does anything, if it just sits in your inventory like the raisins did last year, but uh, basically, you're going to keep the celery. Uh, I would advise not getting rid of it and you will have the super black shader It's very similar to the Aurora Prima. I think it's called shader from uh, the moments of triumph from year one Except it doesn't have the weird leopard print on it It is totally black on everything and it looks absolutely beast all I've been seeing all day is people running around the tower in all black shaders with brooms But anyway guys that is pretty much it um, like I said, nothing really to do with the piece of celery yet, um, and the raisins obviously can just sit in your uh, in your vault again for another year like they did last year. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it from me, Hitman. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy the shader. If you did enjoy it, make sure you drop a like on the video, and I will see you next week, guys. Next week, actually, hopefully tomorrow, because I'm going to start uploading again, guys. But anyway, as I said, I have been Hitman. I will see you in the next video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and Hitman out. Together we're invincible